Hey beautiful people, welcome to Kate Space. Happy December. It's the 1st of December here in New Zealand and I imagine when this video goes up it will be the 1st of December in the rest of the world. And I am in a bit of a tiz because I haven't decided which journal I want to use for my December daily. I just really need to get over myself and just make a decision. I actually was going to make another one. I've got another book I want to use and I thought about trying to make one of those accordion journals. I've never made one before and I uh, saw Andrea, Andrea from Journal the Junk made an awesome little Christmas journal with the accordion method and I loved it and I thought oh that will expand nicely as well. So I still might do that otherwise it will probably be that I'll probably use this one. Anyway because I'm not doing my December daily today I am going to make a little Christmas craft make these tags with you. Uh, I just thought they were really cute and so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, I put my Christmas tree up today so that's all very exciting and I'm thrilled with it. So yeah, that's looking nice and David didn't even notice because he just doesn't really, he's just not into Christmas, he's a bit of a Scrooge. So I just have to do it on my own. Right, I need some tag bases. I'll just grab those. So the tag I'm using, tags I'm using are, uh, I think this is just a copy or a printout actually. Anyway, they're about two and an eight. That's a weird size, isn't it? By five and a quarter. Anyway, it doesn't really matter what size. You make them. I'm going to make another one the same. The same ish with some. Just some of that old card I've got. Just draw around it. Now, last year I decided I. Look, I know it does not snow in New Zealand for Christmas. It's summer, but we all wish that it did. <laughs> We don't want to give up our summer, but, you know, just for Christmas maybe, mind you, yesterday, the skies just opened and it poured down. I can't find my pencil. That's why I'm just kind of chatting away, trying to pretend like I know what I'm doing. Um, it poured and poured and hail and wind and lightning and it was crazy. And then, I don't know, half an hour later, it was sunny again. Anyway. I digress. Weather. We do wish it was snowy. And also, you know, my family is from England and immigrated here. So we were brought up with the whole sort of turkey and the big Christmas dinner. We weren't like a summer barbecue on the beach. New Zealand, typical New Zealand family. So Christmas stockings and Father Christmas and all that stuff is in my, it's in my blood. So anyway, what what made me start talking about that was I really wanted the snowflake dies. I know I must have seen someone use them or something. I decided I wanted snowflakes. Anyway, I couldn't find them. Well, no, I no actually maybe yeah, maybe they were just sold out everywhere here. The Tim Holtz ones or couldn't see anything I wanted. And I was on Facebook. I went on Facebook Marketplace and I found someone selling the exact dies I wanted the die set and I had one snowflake missing so I was really stoked and I got a whole lot of other ones as well so yeah so we do our tag base whatever size and then I have cut the snowflakes I've been cutting heaps of snowflakes out um and I've been using this kind of cotton handmade paper it's got some beautiful texture so you've got any handmade paper or anything and if you've got a snowflake die then uh that works really well that one's quite big that almost that could almost do with a bigger tag i think but anyway that's okay i might i might cut it down rip tear it down a little bit there anyway and then behind it i've got some embossed old sort of wallpaper and i just covered that the tag with that I'm just going to tear a little bit at the top here. 
that's a bit less it's a little less long yeah so now i've been using the snowflakes and everything <laughs> even though it's really not seasonal for new zealand but i don't care because they're pretty i think they're pretty anyway But I don't know, you could use any sort of, um, basically the negative or the whatever it is of the, of what's left over from your die cutting, a star maybe, or, and if you haven't got a star die, you could use a cookie cutter. I tried that the other day because I didn't have any stars. Uh, with mixed results, it didn't work out as well as what I wanted. Okay, so we put the... Emboss paper down. I might do this lighter one on here. This is on. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but this is wallpaper and it's got really pale little stars on it. You can't really see them, but anyway, that's kind of cute. But I do like Christmas. It's going to be a pretty quiet December for us until the end of December when um, my children and their partners are coming. And we'll have two grandbabies. Well, one's nearly nine. <laughs> and then Michaela's new baby, Dally, who you've all seen pictures of. So she'll be here. Very excited about that. Not Nick, though. He has to go home. He can't stay, so. Now, you could just leave it like that, but I quite like the music behind. And I've been trying to sort of position it. So I got a little word, maybe, but I haven't got. I haven't got a word in this piece of music that, that I like. Doesn't really matter. I mean, that, that's not the important thing. So yeah, just get a piece of music paper and glue it on behind. Yeah, so I was thinking, I don't even really know if my December daily is going to be particularly great this year. So I saw um, Christina from Chris Lana Crafts. She'd put up some props prompts and basically it's just sort of ideas of the things you can use in your December journaling like um, it's not not so much prompts but uh, you know materials and things ideas for things you can yeah use I've got the choir I'm not loving that I think I'm just going to go with just plain old music. I think so. Maybe. Like that. Uh, yeah, so I might do, that might be helpful just for days when I'm just journaling and really nothing much happened and I just want to do something Christmassy and pretty. And then I thought, oh, I could do things like, um, it might be quite fun to have Christmas pass. So maybe find some old photos of the girls when they were little. Their Christmases. Okay, so there we are. We've built that one up. And so what are you guys going to do? Are you going to do, are you going to do anything for December daily or not bother? there so my first page is normally my title page but I've kind of already done that on that um, on that green journal I've already done a bit of a title page so I guess I'm ahead if I use that one um, and then December the first is usually just a picture of the tree and talks 
about putting up the tree, what's going to happen. Right, so there we go. There's that one, and I am going to tear this just a little bit off at the bottom. It's just too long. Great, okay, so I'll just get my art glitter glue. I've tried to clean up the nozzle because <laughs> my sister said that it, I needed to clean it. <laughs> so Joe, I've tried to clean that, still looks a little bit manky, but it's better than nothing. I've, all the glue's off, it's just gone a bit tarnished, I think. So yeah, just put glue around the cut out. You could do a heart, because they're easy to do freehand if you don't have, um, any dies but so many different dies that you could do just like that. that's that one stuck down uh yeah so but i yeah i just really like the snowflakes and i did see um heather from rose hill she'd been using the the leftovers from her die cuts, the different things. And I thought how good that looked. Put the treble cleft there. You don't have much wriggle room for that glitter glue. Right, and then this here is just basically stitched onto the tag the whole piece oh I see so that and these ones I've done covered the whole back oh, I'm not concentrating because I'm too busy talking that's oh, okay we don't have to do it like that so that's glued on right so the glue the um, The embossed paper onto the tag I'm just gonna put glue where I think and then just go around the edges of this with the art glitter glue yeah I've been busy I've just been making so much ephemera I just got my all I've got all the leftover kits from last year and everything that I could find and then the kits that I've printed out for this year and I've just been trying to just make ephemera and things. And so there's stuff everywhere from doing that. And I'm going to put some of it in some happy mails, I think, and send out a few Christmas happy mails. That's what I'd like to do. Uh, and then, yeah, just work on getting those out. Probably just to New Zealand people because they will get there by Christmas. Otherwise, I'll... There's no way anything I see now overseas will get there before Christmas. But we'll see. It's just a few people who've been so supportive and kind and shared so many things with me this year that I'd like to just say thank you to them. You know who you are. And so hopefully I'll get myself organised. Nothing, you know, nothing huge, but just something Okay, needle and thread. So we could actually do a different coloured thread. Let's try something doing a different coloured thread. I've got some gold. Is that gold? Does that look gold? Yeah, that'll do. Um, some gold. And some red and see what that looks like. <laughs> Just for fun. The other day I actually um, got my watercolors out and did some painted papers never done it before where are they oh they're right here i'll show you just for fun i know i'm way behind the crowd but i just thought i'd have a play with my watercolors and i did reds and greens it is quite therapeutic and relaxing it's kind of like coloring in just just fun i mean they're not they're nothing amazing but 
it was fun to do and I'm going to try and incorporate those into something somehow if I can. Bit of colour. So yeah, I've got a few little seed lights in my studio. When I've tidied up, I'll show you. And I've got a couple of little houses with t little, not real tea light candles, fake tea light candles in them. Okay, so I'm going to stitch along here. I just poke my hole that way so I know where to come up. Stitch along like this. So yeah, just a straight stitch along here. Just was having a discussion with David. <laughs> Maybe I should lock my door when I'm filming. <laughs> Feels a bit rude doing that. Okay, there we go. He is um, going on a big long walk tomorrow. I have to drive him like, I don't know, two hours away. Oh, what am I doing here? I have to drive him two hours away. I've made a mistake and um, drop him off and then pick him up. I think I'm picking him up on Monday. Better make sure I get that right. <laughs> so yeah, he's going on, yeah, walking from Friday till Monday. Him and his family have always been into tramping, hiking, I guess some of you will call it. So yeah, he's all packed up and ready to go and I think he's a bit, I don't know, you know what it's like when you're about, you're going somewhere the next day. Um, no, I can't thread my needle again. It's okay. Yeah, so I had the weekend here by myself, pottering away. Hopefully I'll catch up on some crafting and some videos. That would be good. Do a bit of housework, start getting things ready for when the kids come, even though that's not till the end of the month. But I'm actually going away just after he gets back, actually. I'm going up to see my mum, but I'm flying, so won't be taking much in the way of crafting things so I'm going up to see her and then that's the last time I'm going sort of away anywhere until after Christmas and then in January David and I are going up up north with some friends okay so there we go there's that little bit done and the red one, let's try that. Right, okay, I've got my red one done. <laughs> um, yeah, so stitch across here. This one's a bit bigger, like I said. When I do my December daily um, journal, my December journaling, I really like to have a number for each day and I really struggle, I'm struggling this year to think about how I'm going to do that. I thought, oh, well, I'll make a whole lot of number clusters or something to use, but I haven't. Um, a little bit of a, I'm a bit stuck with it. So I'm hoping I'll come up with something for that. Right, so yeah, just stitch along here. I'm using three strands of the cotton because I want it quite nice and chunky. Oh my gosh, can you believe this? Just really struggling at the moment today. It's not going my way. The threads are all... I just have to try and... I haven't asked how you all are. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I hope everybody's well. And 
I know there's lots of people who don't enjoy Christmas, who aren't into Christmas at all. My partner's one of them, David. Just not interested. And he said he saw many people today who hate Christmas. I said, okay, well, we're not having that talk in my house. <laughs> okay, so I've come up. I don't really want to be up, so I'm going to have a little bit of a wonky stitch at the end, but it doesn't really matter. It's kind of rustic. So I'm just tying it off on the back so it doesn't come undone. I'm all fingers and thumbs today, I don't know why. Just, I just am. Right, there we go. So those two are stitched so yeah I went a little bit wrong with the music so the music paper hang is supposed to hang down but it does it doesn't matter I can pop maybe something else on the back there to hang down if I wanted to or I could even glue it down I don't know yet right so then I have these little snowflakes there should be two I know I cut out two, but did they make it over here? And, and some glass glitter. Again, something I really, really wanted last year. I saw how pretty it was. The other thing I have, and I have been using it too, is the stickles, which works really well, and it's really easy to use. And a lot of people would probably prefer that. This, I've just realized this isn't going to dry, but anyway, we'll just go with it. So I'm just putting some art glitter glue on the tips of the snowflake. And then I'm just going to dip it in the glass glitter. Drag it through. Because I like lots. <laughs> But some of it will rub off, which is fine. There we go. So the glass glitter doesn't really, um, art glitter glue doesn't take that long to dry. So that's quite a good glue to use for this. And then that sits on there. And then I've got these little jemmy things. Got different ones. I've got a like little gold star, but I think that might look a bit odd in there. What do you think? Yep, no, I don't like that. So just these little stick-on gemmy gem things. This one I might use as the same as that one. But I need to glue the star on first. Which it would be easier if it was dry. So anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's just pop it on. The sake of the video so pop that on and then I've got the little gem and that pops in the middle there there we go and a hole at the top sort of in the middle would be good I love that Christmas is sort of like an excuse to use all your sparkly things that maybe you wouldn't use any other time of the year. <laughs> Not that we should need an excuse, we should just use them if we want to use them. Okay, I'm just looking for my pencil again. I don't know why, yeah, how far it can have gone. There it is. And I'm just going to mark sort of the centre which is about there. Touch a hole. Go and a hole reinforcer. I don't have any cut out at the moment, so I might just use One of these inked ones. Make it a bit darker, I think. 
Okay. Now on the back of one of these, I have done something to cover up the back. And one I haven't. One I've just left it, but I probably will because it's got a bit grubby on the back there. So I probably will do something on the back of this one as well. I quite like that and with the old pin. There we go. Got some of this, which we could put on the back. Just to cover up that. Cover up that sewing. If you wanted to. You're still going to have the lumps of it underneath. is actually just a little bit too wide. So trim a little bit off it here. Tiniest bit if I can. And then going like that. Mm, the, gl the glitter does get everywhere. I'm not I'm not going to say that it doesn't because it really does. And if that bothers you, then the little kindy glitz or whatever you call it, stickles, is the glitter glue is probably a better bet. Oops. Much better bet. Just gonna... It's got glue all over it, so... Now I'm just getting glue everywhere. Okay, so that's a digital, but I really like that one. I've used that a lot. It's from Heather, Ruby and Pearl from last year. And I love this little December date. So we've got that, or we've got this little thing here, and the little kitty waltz. Um, but I think I'll use one of the dates because I've got them here. Just did some stamping on some scrap paper. Just tear that end off. this behind it as well so there's a couple of layers to hide the um, stitching so yeah if I've got any old book page plain book page that I've been using to back things I scraps left over I get my sample stamps out and just do some stamping I'm not very good at stamping directly onto things. I'm much better. I tend to stamp on paper and then, oh, I want to see the number up there. So I'm going to pull that one down a little bit more. I am going to get a little pin. Maybe we could 
do a little safety pin on this one. Little rusty safety pin, we'll see if it will go through. Some of those cheapy safety pins when you rust them, the break off. There we go. Cute. And then glue that down. one's got a bit of old cellar tape on it but I actually think that was already on there yeah I'm not sure anyway so there we go my little stars the bit worse for wear because it's been biffed around a bit but there we go and then maybe some gold string or something and a bell I'll put a rusty bell on this one. I've got a rusty one, yeah, but they're quite rusty ones are quite big. I've got a small rusty one. Quite like that little one there. So thread some string through your bell. Hmm. <laughs> that will be fun. Let's see if we can get it through. The gluey fingers are part of the problem. Okay, and I've got some gold sari here, but I'm gonna just make it a little narrower. There we go. So put that through. on actually I think I'll just do one of those knots at the top here like that oh wow my fingers aren't working today it's really strange my hands are a bit uncoordinated. Right, and then I'm just going to tie a bow with this. See how, how much luck I have with that, with my uncoordinated hands. Here we go. That went okay there we go so I might trim those little ones there or tie those in a bow as well I suppose well, let's see what that looks like no I think I'll trim those so we've got our little bow hanging down and our little bow just trim this one. So I didn't finish the other one. Been going a while because I'm quite slow. Hope you like that. So the other one I'll do the same. I think. We didn't know where the other star was anyway, did we? <laughs> But I might try some red ribbon, maybe, on there. Anyway, those are those. I hope you like them. They're pretty simple. Nothing nothing too amazing. I kind of like the neutral white and creams of them. I thought they were quite pretty. Uh, but you could make them colourful as well. 
thanks so much for watching i hope you like that and i'll see you soon with daily december no doubt at some point throughout the month and hopefully some other videos as well not just daily december because that will get a bit dull all right cool thanks so much for hanging out with me and i'll see you in the next video bye